I'm Adam Moz, and this is Moz Models. Now, this one comes from a request from a user who wants to have a throttle-controlled expo uh, in one of his flight modes. So he's got 30% expo in two of his flight modes, and the third one he's running 30% expo now, but he wants to add up to 10% extra expo as the throttle is increased because that's the flight mode where he goes flat out. It's a very fast airplane and it gets a little bit twitchy. So we're gonna do this. And we're gonna do this using a free mix uh, from throttle to a high channel. And then we're going to take that high channel and use it as our expo uh, source for any of the mixers. And we'll just go over that. And the way we'll actually set this up, all the Expo is actually going to be controlled at the Freemix. So, uh, we're in the model here, and we're going to go over to the mixer. And you can see this is the same 61 sized Escapade test model that I've been using for a number of items. So we've got mixers in there for flight surfaces, uh, my gain, stab, and panic. This is an RB35S in there. And then my adjustable mid rates. And for this one, we're going to go and we're going to add a free mix at the last position. And we're going to call it Expo. And since it's going to be doing all of our Expo, that's just what we're going to call it. Now the source on this is going to be throttle. So analogs. Actually, what we'll do is a smart thing here. We're going to go back there, and we're going to pick channel and throttle. Now, by using channel instead of the analog, this will obey throttle cut. The function type is add. The curve we're not going to touch yet. Uh, the offset we are going to set to 30%, because that is the default setting we're going to be using. Weight up, weight down is 100%. And our output, and we'll just click up here, channel 63, give it a name. So now our channel 63 is called Expo. Now remember we added the offset, so we're going to add two curves. The first one, we already have a curve called Expo, so we're going to call this Throttle Expo. And this is going to be a type of custom. And we're going to set it to two points. We could set this to three if you want a little bit of different res response at the midpoint. But we're not going to get in that. And the points config is going to be zero and 10%. So we go back. And we've got our default one. And this one. And we'll just see, so our, you see here our default output is 30. Let's just take, and it climbs up there. And note that because this is a glow model, I have a high idle. So you're never going to get 30% out of this curve. You're going to start at 32 because that's respecting my idle point going up. If you are doing something like an idle point, be aware of that when you do set up your curve. You may want to adjust your point setup to reflect where your actual base idle is if you don't want to get like 30 versus 32%. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back here. Actually, I've exited too far out. And we're going to add another curve. And this, uh, this user has everything on SE. And they have their normal one on SE up. So the normal one is where they've got the default curve 0 to 10%. So what we're going to do here is we're going to pick SE up because he wants SE mid and SE down to have the flat 30% across the board. And what we're going to do 
is we are going to long press and invert. So now this cur second curve will only be active when SE is not up. And we'll go and we're going to add another curve and we'll just call it default expo. It's also a custom curve. It's going to be two points. And that's it. We don't have to set the point. Oh, here, three points. I'll just turn it down to two points. It doesn't really matter. I could set it to, let's say, 21 points. And it's not going to matter because this one is zero across the board. We'll make it two in case you want to edit it in the future. And what you've got is when SC is not up, you have a flat 30% across the board. The throttle doesn't do a darn thing. And that's your setting. And what we're just really using there is we're using the offset to select, uh, to set that base expo and the curve and the source to start on that expo and uh, and build on that for the variability. So this is always the 30% base. Follow all the way down, coming through, you got 30% expo, you give it a little bit of juice in the normal flight mode on SE up, you get a little bit more expo. Yeah, it's 10%, you just take the edge off when the plane's going that fast. Now, the last piece of this is going to be how do we add that to our mixers? So let's just go over to ailerons, edit, and we have no curve here set, so we're going to go expo, and we're going to long press right here so you can see it a little better. We're going to long press, use the source, and that source is going to be channels, and again I'm clicking. I'm in here and I'm using the wheel to go up because that's faster than scrolling down through 62 unused channels because we're on 63 which is our expo. And now we exit out of there and our expo is, there you go. Yeah, I have a light minor program error on my rates here. See how it says SC minus and then SC? That should not be SC. That should be uh, options. We want channels. Should be channel 64 mid rates. And now if you watch closely, you can't really see it uh, because it's very subtle, but you're getting an extra 10%. So what I'm going to go do, I'm going to go back and I'm going to go into my curve. And this is curve number six, throttle, edit. And we're going to go down to the points config. And while we want this to be 10%, I'm going to set it to be 100% just so I can show you what's going on in the mixer. So now you've got 100%, 50%, 100%, and there you can see how much we're getting. 100% expo is just a little ridiculous. But you can see that move. And that is, of course, based on top of that 30%. So we, we're actually hitting, you'll notice, edit, we'll go back in there, we go all the way up, we're getting that little crossover there. That, by the way, that's very unsafe, and this is something to call out. That's because we're hitting 130% expo. So you're actually getting the point where you're going to get minor aileron reversal 
in this section. Don't do that. If you're going to use the offset as your base, make sure your max is not more than 100 minus your base. So in this case, I want to set 70 as my max. And we'll go back there. And we'll go in this way. We'll go and edit the throttle curve points config. Set this to 70. Now let's go back into ailerons, edit, and you'll notice that there's no crossover, there's no reversing in that curve. Now, to be smart, we're going to go back again and set this to something sane. Let's config. Because we only really wanted to add 10%, just to take the edge off when we're going super fast. Not that my escapade is honestly that fast, but the uh, fellow who requested this uh, info is flying a jet, which is a heck of a lot faster than my 60 to 90 size escapade with a 60 size engine in it. So there you have it. This is how you use a expo curve and a free mixer to get a throttle varied expo and have all your setup in one place. Now your expo is, and you can go in and assign this to each of your, uh, your controls if you want them to all have the same one. Um, or you can just clone it if you wanted to say have different base expo for your ailerons, your elevators, and your rudders. But everything's set up now for your expo in the Expo Mixer and just go down there and do everything there. And that works right out of the box. This is Ethos 149, but this will work on any version of Ethos, including the upcoming 1.5.0.